Hi everyone, it's Money Saving Coupon Gal and I am doing another video about the Walgreens by my house that won't take the One Touch Delica coupons. Well, if you've been following my videos, you see that the manager told me to call him this morning and he would um, get a hold of the main office and see if they would let him take the coupon. Well, I did call him and he said that they had not gotten back to him, but he would honor the coupon because he wanted a copy of it. So I said, okay. I said, well, what about the Walgreens coupon? Will you be honoring that also, which gives a $10 overage? And, um, and he said, if the register takes it, I don't have a problem with it. So I said, okay, so you're going to take the manufacturer coupon, which takes the $19.99 off, and you'll take the $10 coupon that's in your booklet, giving me a $10 overage, which I said, of course, I will use to buy other items. He said, yes, I don't have a problem as long as the register takes it and, you know, if it rejects it, I can't do it. So I said, okay, fine. So my husband and I go over there while we're out running errands, and I get... Um, four of the Delicas because he was holding three for me and since I had to come home and print another coupon to show him where I got it from I had four coupons and since they had like seven boxes it's okay I'll buy four of them so I get four of them and then I got two Zynga um, gift cards that were a total $50 they were $25 each so that would have been $50 so I had four so that would have been $40 overage and then so I would have had to pay the ten dollars which I had a ten dollar register reward so it would have been zero so he had told me when I come to come to photo and see him so I did so I give him that the items and he says do you want to ring the gift cards up separate and I said no I ring them all together and um, and he goes well you know you can't use any overage for the gift cards and I said, okay, so um, then I can use it on other stuff. I figured, okay, I'll just buy, you know, $40 worth of stuff in the store. And he said, oh, by Florida law, I cannot give you any overage. And I said, what are you talking about? I said, I asked you on the phone, and you said if the register didn't have a problem with it, you would do it. And he said, oh, no, if it's um, overage, I can't do that. He said, what I will do is I will take the... the um, Walgreens coupon and that takes ten dollars off making it nine ninety nine and then I'll take your manufacturer coupon and use that and lower it down to nine ninety nine and then you get it free but you don't get no overage and I said well that was our whole conversation on the phone this morning and you said you would do it and now you're saying you won't he said well by Florida law we would get sued if they saw when we turned it in for to get reimbursed for the coupon, if they saw that you bought gift cards or you bought anything that wasn't that wasn't um, a Delica, and that we would get sued, Walgreens would get sued for that. So at this point, I was just like, okay, fine. I've just I've been beaten. I I just feel like you know this guy has just put me through the ringer. He he tells me one thing, does another several times to me now. So I said, fine. I said, you know what? I said. Just forget it. I'll go to another Walgreens. I said, because if you're saying you're going to get sued by, by giving me an overage, I said, many Walgreens across the United States is going to get sued because I have seen people get it from different states. I've seen them get it right here locally. I even brought a receipt that I had showing that you've got $19.99 off and I also got the $10 register board off. I didn't even show him. I told him I had the receipt, but then when he was saying he wasn't going to do it, I said, okay, fine. I just said, that's fine. Then I guess they're all going to get sued because everybody's doing it basically, but you. I said, so that's fine. And I, I just left. And when we walked out, my husband said, why do you even keep going back there? Every time you go there, there's an issue. They always have an issue with a coupon or prices or something, he said. Or and he goes, and most of the time, they don't even have anything in stock that's in the sales ad. So I said, yeah, I know. I've learned my lesson this time. So this is the last video you'll be seeing of them because I am not going back to that store. I don't care. I'll drive out of my way to go to another Walgreens. Or maybe Walgreens doesn't care 
that if a store does this because they figure you'll do what I'm doing, you'll just go to one of their other locations. But I think it's really sad that all the Walgreens, except for a few since I posted this, a few people have said they've had problems. But I've seen so many videos on YouTube have said that they got the overage deal at Walgreens and that you got a few store managers or a few employees that are refusing to do it when all the others are. And I can't believe it's a Florida law that they would get sued over that. I don't know. That's just crazy. But anyways, just wanted to give everybody an update because some people have been asking me, you know, if I got them or not. And no, as you can see, I still have my coupon. So I know the $10 overage ends on uh, December 31st. So if I don't find a Walgreens the next couple of days, oh well, you know, it's not a big deal. But I did find it funny that he thought I was going through all this just to, for, to get him to take my coupon. It's a manufacturer coupon. I could have went to any store. So I didn't need to argue with him to take the coupon. The only reason I was going to Walgreens was for the overage, as everyone else is doing. So anyways, thanks for watching, and um, have a great night. Please click like and subscribe. Good night.